lesbian couples if requested. Um, a magistrate had presented an appeal to the Supreme Court saying he didn't want to carry out the ceremony on religious grounds. However, the Council for, Ju for Judicial Power, the body which oversees the judiciary in Spain, had ruled that judges cannot refuse. Um, in addition, the Supreme Court ruled that members of the judiciary are subject to anti-discriminatory laws in the same way as everyone else. Mm. So, I mean, basically, if, if they were performing it as a religious, maybe they have, as a religious person, maybe they have an opt-out clause in it, but if you're performing it as a public servant, you're required to uphold the public law. <laughs> there you go. Well, that's cool. Um, I have a couple, of, just a couple of quick things here. Um, this is something I just got on my way in um, from Father, in fact. Um, this is from The Current. Um, apparently, Harvard... It's Harvard to create visiting professorship in lesbian, gay, bisexual studies with a $1.5 million gift. Um, Harvard University is creating a visiting professorship in lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender studies with a gift of $1.5 million from the Harvard Gay and Lesbian Caucus. Kind of interesting. Um, I'm not sure exactly how that's going to work, but yeah, you go Harvard. Visiting professorship. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, the other thing I was, I, I'm, I'm going off on a tangent here, I suppose, but um, this, was, um, this was something uh, that I was, I got actually from Tambria also. <laughs> um, this is the challenge to, uh, to um, California's Proposition 8, oh. which is an interesting thing. Um, the, you know, the, the, um, the California Supreme Court issued its decision um, upholding Proposition 8, and of course that's immediately been challenged by this um, um, uh, Olson uh, boys, I guess. Which was, it, it's, an, it's an interesting thing, but I, there's this uh, very long article about the pros and cons, basically, of whether or not uh, it's, it's a good idea to challenge this for the, uh, the LGBT community. Um, but the, it, one of the interesting things about this, I was looking at this, it's written by John Dean, and I, I'm looking at this picture and thinking, oh my God, I always wondered what happened to John Dean. I, you know, I, I, I was a child during Watergate, obviously, I was a child. But, but I was glued to the, the, the TV at that time, watching the Watergate hearings. And I remember watching John Dean. Um, and uh, I sort of liked John Dean. He was White House counsel at the time. And, um, and he was always on there talking. And, um, and I'd always kind of wondered what happened to him. And there he is. He's, uh, he's, he's a lawyer, of course. He wrote this kind of interesting article on uh, Proposition 8. But, uh, but I used to always watch that. I used to watch the Watergate hearings, which were you know, sort of a fascinating thing at the time. And uh, they'd have John Dean on there. John Dean was very young at the time, and, uh, and he was a newlywed. And I used to always feel sorry for him because he was up there, he was, he was being questioned you know, for, for days and days and days, and they'd always keep panning to his wife. He had just gotten married, uh, Maureen Dean, who was this beautiful young woman, sitting there you know, um, watching the, uh, the uh, uh, proceedings, and um, they'd always be panning over to her. And they, were, they had just gotten married, and I always felt sorry for him. And I thought, I always thought, you know, what is this? this, this she was a beautiful young woman. <laughs> I thought, God, you know, how long is this marriage going to last when this guy goes to jail? And actually, it turns out they're still married. So <laughs> I, thought that was, I thought that was kind of interesting. I, I was looking at that, and it's like, yeah, Maureen and uh, John are still married. And, um, and kudos to Maureen Dean for sticking by. Him, you know? <laughs> just, just, okay. I've gone off on a total tangent here. That's right all right. I'm sorry. But I thought that was interesting. Good old John Dean. Yeah. Not that I don't know how good a guy he really was. He was involved in Watergate, obviously. But he was, he was a lawyer, you know. He was a lawyer. <laughs> so, not that there's anything wrong with being a lawyer, but, I mean, basically, so lawyers are paid to, uh, to, to do their thing and keep their mouth shut, you know. <laughs> and, and so I, I don't know that. I'm not going to go into a whole Watergate thing. <laughs> but it was interesting because I, I couldn't really remember that from when I was a little kid. I, I was glued to those hearings. It was the most interesting thing that I'd seen in a very long time, yeah. the Watergate hearings. And um, Anyway, so now we know where John Dean went. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. No, that's fine. <laughs> but, but anyway, so, so this week... Um, we, are, we are going to be in Hartford and, on Saturday, and please, everybody come out and, um, and see us. You can come out and meet us and um, sign up for the TV show. We're going to do a, a TV show sign-up. and um, If you want to come on the TV show, you have uh, ideas for the show, yeah. um, come on over to our booth and talk to us, and um, we, we're, we should have a sign-up sheet for uh, anyone who wants to come on and talk about something. Yeah, it's cool. Not that you can't, not that you can't do that, um, 
without coming to this event. I mean, if no. you want to come on our show, <laughs> just contact us. If you have some reason to want to come on our show, you know, contact us, and you can come on the show. Um, if you support us, if you oppose us, whatever, we're, we'll certainly debate anybody that wants to come on. So um, we have a standing invitation to the Family Institute of Connecticut <laughs> um, to come on and talk to us. Um, but but uh, but yeah, you know, you can uh, you can contact us and uh, or you know contact us through our website. You can contact the station, okay. whatever, and, and uh, come on. Uh, we're open to that certainly. We'll talk to anybody. But. But anyway, so um, but but it's going to be a good thing. This weekend's going to be really cool. We're going to be um, on D-Day. up there. Yeah, we're going to be up there in Hartford um, with our little tent and um, <laughs> and be giving out cheesecakes and condoms. <laughs> so, so come on up. You know. We've got all the seas covered. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. If you want to, if you want to meet us, um, we're going to be there. Come on up. So very cool. Anyway. Um, so that's that's pretty much the stuff that's going on. I think um, I think that pretty much covered all of. Um, I, I, yeah, I mean, I have the Cheney thing here too. I was hmm? not really wanting to go into the Cheney thing. I let you oh, do that. Oh, Cheney thing. <laughs> um, but um, anyway, so so and next week we will have um, we will have Brett Bernardini on, who is um, the. Um, Director and co-founder, I believe, of um, yeah, creative of, director or executive director and yeah, something like that. Founder, he's yeah. like the, the he's guy. He's the guy that's in charge. Yep. The uh, HMFWIC or whatever it is. <laughs> he's he is he is he's a cool guy. Brett is a really cool guy, and he's um, he's going to be on next week and talking about the spirit of Broadway theater. So please join us for that. We have a call. Um, I think I know who this is. Good evening, NLC Trans. You're on the air. Hey, how you doing tonight, you guys? Good, how are you? Good, guys. Hey, I, I watch your show. Every, I just flip through, and every now and then I catch you guys, and it's like, uh, just, I just get interested. It seems like, for whatever reason or another. That's cool. But, uh, you know, I, I just wonder, I have a few questions. Uh, okay. Would you guys say that, uh, you know, you're sort of on a crusade, or, you know, really involved in the, uh, movement to uh, you know liberate you know um, like I said sort of across the board uh, gay homosexual uh, or transgender lifestyle you say um, I don't know that I call it a crusade but um, but yeah certainly we're out there yeah. and um, and we want to yeah. uh, we want to promote um, you know equal well, rights that, you know for lack of a better definition right yeah, right. yeah. I'm just I'm just trying to trying to get a feel for Yes, yeah. we're 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 definitely in favor of the the positive reforms that have been made. Um, we're definitely taking the opportunities and the access that we have to um, to publicize the the positive and negative uh, viewpoints, the the information that's out there, and criticize the people that we disagree with, and praise the people we do. Um, we're not shy and we're not hiding. Um, right. Whether that amounts to a crusade, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's that's very interesting, and the not shy, not hiding is is very apparent, and I I really uh, I applaud you for that. Well, that's thank you. Um, but yeah, we that's we something that go ahead. No, it's something I really get a vibe from both of you. It's like uh, you guys just you know telling me telling me like it is, telling me like it is, and, and it's straight up forward and straightforward, and, and I can appreciate that. And, uh, well, thank you. I, you know. <laughs> Um, I wanted to ask you about the uh, religious aspect, and I'm not sure. I'm not coming from any critical perspective here. I'm just curious, mm -hmm. what you know? I guess both. Of you, I mean, would you say that you both agree there's a God? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. In fact, um, I don't think we we have any problem even with um, the concept of organized religion. Right. Um, well, that's that's great. Um, you know, and that, and that you know that 